Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from KibbyKing77.com and I'm here to unbox and give some first impressions on a device you might not have heard of before. It's called the Lenovo K3 Note. Uh, a company called GearBest.com actually sent it to me, so huge shout out to them. They're the largest uh, gadget retailer and wholesaler in China, so check out their website, GearBest.com. They're the ones that made this video possible. So let's go ahead and unbox it, show you real quick what comes in the box, and then give some first impressions and overall thoughts on the device. All right, so I'm sure you've heard of Lenovo before. However, you might not have heard of their cell phones that they made. That's mainly because a lot of them have uh, are actually big players in the Chinese market. So here we go, the K3 Note. Looks like, it feels pretty light, so I'm assuming the battery is not in it just yet. You'll see I've got a yellow variant. I'm gonna set that to the side for a second, and we're gonna see you've got a bunch of booklets within here, just uh, how to use it, all that good stuff. And of course, Lenovo does own Motorola Mobility, so in the US, they probably just said, hey, Motorola, I guess you can focus on the US and we'll do more in China than you. So here we go, we got the AC adapter, of course. You have a micro USB cable as well. Uh, battery, like I said, and that's it. So you have a 3000 milliamp hour battery. It's pretty thin, actually, but it's also wide and that uh, makes sense because the body of this device is actually pretty large it's a 5.5 inch display device so pushing that phablet style so let me go ahead and see where i open this up it's really light without the battery and so i'm assuming it's gonna get some added weight of course i'm having difficulty finding this there we go so i just kind of pulled from the corner and it popped out so let's go ahead and throw the battery in you'll see you have dual sim slots and a micro sd card slot so nice added feature this specific model came with 16 gigabytes of internal storage let's go ahead and uh, turn it on right now all right, vibrated, and while it turns on, let's talk about the, I guess, overall design of the device. I'm gonna peel off this front cover right here. Always a nice feeling doing that. All right, so we got a back, I believe, home and menu buttons down at the bottom, capacitive buttons. It's a fairly large device. However, it feels pretty thin, actually. So it's a fairly thin device, and which makes it kind of light as well. Even with that added battery, it's still got a really light feel. It is plastic on the back. Uh, you got buttons on the side here. You got volume up and down, power button. And on the left side, absolutely nothing. Down the back, a little interesting. You have the speaker in the upper right, which is a little bit different actually, because you're used to it being, either being on the bottom, on the, uh, the bottom of the device, the bottom back, or front facing speaker. So a little bit different. You have the charging slot on the top as well, which I don't know if I'll like. Uh, I guess I'll have to test it out and let you guys know when I make the review. And then here's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well. You got a camera on the back. Uh, still booting up. Um, it's probably gonna take a bit of time since the first boot up. I'll be back once it's done. All right, so it's booting up. You see it's loading. I believe is what is Chinese letters right here. So hopefully it has an English language option that I can change it to. Okay, so as you can see, this is not in English. There we go. So I selected the first one and it changed to something in English and you have next right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press next and there we go. So everything does seem to be in English, which is good that you can change it to that. You have to accept the Lenovo license agreement. I recommend reading that. Uh, you have network settings. I didn't put a SIM card in it just yet. Um, so I'm just gonna hit next. I'm gonna skip it for now. Just skip through all this stuff. Um, the Lenovo enhancement program. Congratulations, let's get started. All right, loading on up. And unfortunately, it looks like some of these icons are in Chinese, which makes sense because this is made for the Chinese market. So this is tailored to them. Let's go ahead and scroll down and I believe let's go to about device. And then let's go to device information and you'll see it's on Android 5.0 Lollipop. See what happens if I quickly tap on it. Looks like they got rid of the uh, hidden Easter egg. So you got two gigabytes of running memory you have 16 gigabytes internal storage and you have an eight core 1.7 gigahertz processor. It's actually a MediaTek MT6752 processor. I think that's a 64 bit processor if I'm not mistaken. So pressing that, this is the home button. This is a menu button as well. They're pretty responsive. Let's go ahead and go to the camera real quick and attempt to take a quick picture. And there we go, load it up for the first time. Let's focus and snap a picture. A little bit slow to focus, but still it looked okay when I actually took it. All right, so let's go ahead and look at a couple of them. And it looks pretty good. 
Obviously, I'm gonna do some further testing when I make my full review video. So that's just the camera. I'm gonna to have to try and figure out if I can maybe uh, get these all into English. I'll see what I can do, guys. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, a little interesting looking. Looks like it doesn't. this custom launcher doesn't have a an app drawer, which is tailored to the Chinese market, like I said earlier. So you have a bunch of different toggles up here. So it definitely has a skin over Lollipop. Um, here's all your various options. You got a nice flashlight for that Dua LED flash. Let's see if it actually uses that Dua LED flash. It's kind of too bright. I'm sorry, it doesn't work on the camera, guys. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> a little interesting. I don't know if I like this button placement. The power button seems a little low. It kind of reminds me of the One M9's button placement. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get this in English. I'll get a review video up as soon as I can. Shout out to Gearbest for sending this to me. And that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all links in the description below. And thanks for watching, guys.